So my name is Christopher Ott. Uh, I am owner and chef at Chop Shop Barbecue in Caldwell, Idaho. And I'm also a member of Fair Idaho. And we are working on a butchery series. Today we will be doing seafood and offal. Um, the fish that we will be utilizing is coming from Fairweather Fish Company and from Idaho Springs Trout. So we're gonna be so showing you very simple techniques on how to butcher and fillet salmon and trout. And then from here we will go into some organ meat, we'll play with some tongue, some beef heart, and some liver. You're gonna make a, a small incision right on top of the collar of the salmon. And you're gonna come in right on top of the spine, lifting the belly just slightly to keep your fillet nice and flat. And once you've done that, you've got this little bit of collar here, you're going to flip the fish over. We're going to remove this fillet for now. You're going to come in on the collar again. You're going to make a sharp 45 degree angle. And again, you're going to stay right on top of that spine, angling your knife down against the backbone and out the tail. It gives you a nice clean fillet. You can scrape this frame with a spoon uh, to utilize the meat that's left on it. Right now we are going to remove the belly flap here, these rib bones. You want to use a nice flexible knife when you do so, so you, that's very sharp. Keep your cuts very clean. Again, you're going to come in on top we're going to remove this little piece here, these fins, so we get a nice clean looking fillet. Like so. We're going to take the other side. Again, we're going to come in right above these rib bones and we're going to press our knife so we stay right against them as we come down and out the belly side. Nice clean fillet, move that little piece there. Okay. And again, you take the back of your knife and come again against here. You get these pin bones to pop up like so. And we're gonna remove these pin bones with some tweezers and they're just going to pull right out. You want to make sure you do nice even tension when doing so. One, so you don't damage the fillet. Two, so you don't break the pin bone. Um, these are usually a culprit for what people choke on if they're not removed properly. So we want to make sure we get these out of our fish. Hear that little clip? That's the pin bone snapping on me, but we got him out anyway. Okay. Now from here, what we're going to do, you've got your nice fillet, pin bones are removed, ribs are removed. You can either leave it skin on if you like the crispy skin, or we can remove the skin. We're going to remove the skin by taking our French knife we're going to make a little incision here at the tail, and we're just going to press down, keep the angle of that knife right against that skin, and come straight out. So you end up with a nice clean piece of skin, none left on the belly side, and now you can portion that out. Next, I'm going to show you trout. So this is from Idaho Springs in the Hagerman area of Idaho. And with trout, initially you're gonna come in, it's almost identical to a salmon. You're gonna come in on behind that collar and you're gonna stay right on top of that backbone and straight out. And you're gonna fillet that out just like that. Flip the other side. We're gonna come in behind that collar. And again, we're gonna keep our knife right nice and tight down on that collar. Uh, piece didn't do what I 
want to, but okay. Take the carcass, set it aside. And then once again, we're going to come in and trim. So you're going to come in and remove these rib bones. And just try and do as fluid of motion as possible when dealing with seafood so you don't tear them up. Nice clean fillet. Take this top piece off right here. Once again. Perfect there. Coming along these rib bones once again. Just about down to that belly, you fold that over. Nice clean cut to remove those ribs. You've got two beautiful fillets of trout. Saute, barbecue, smoke, roast, whatever your heart desires. So just to demonstrate what you can be done with this beautiful salmon um, that we got from Fairweather Fish Company, I went ahead and made a little smoked wajillo sauce. This was initially dried chilies, garlic, and water. We simmered for a little while and then pureed. That's going to be the base for our plate. You can get throw into a squeeze bottle, make it fun for everybody. Um, and then we're going to be serving our salmon with a little bit of collard greens that we have cooked down with some onion, some garlic, some smoked poblano. Just take it like that and then we'll take our beautiful piece of salmon that we've sauteed in a cast iron pan. And we'll finish it by garnishing it with nasturtiums right out of the garden here at Chop Shop. And you can initially plant these anywhere. These are the petals of the nasturtium. We're just going to put those around for a little extra pretty. All this is edible. And there you go. Pan roasted salmon with collard greens and wajillo. Cheers guys, thanks for viewing.